and if you're new here, hi, my name is Kylie, and this is my sister-in-law, Letty, and she, you guys met her before, she was the sister-in-law that we stayed with in the cabins in Lake Tahoe. Hi guys. And this is her baby princess. She's a little old, but we decided to dress her just for this special occasion. She's so cute. She just, just lays there like this. She's so cute. Um, so if you guys see in the title, we are making a Mita Lala. This is a Mexican drink that I had learned from Letty's family, Letty's side of the family that they taught me. So we will be showing you how to make a Mita Lala today. Okay, so what I'm, I'm going to explain to you the ingredients, what you need for this michelada. So you would need some pepper for taste, you would need some Worcestershire sauce, then you would need some papa tío. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a good tasting sauce. Yeah, you could put basically any spicy sauce in it, um, but this is the base to put in it. Um, and then you're going to need some clamato. So I like this one because this is the picante one. So it's got this a little bit of spice. And you can buy the original, which is just, there's no spice in it. But we like spicy over here, so that's the one I got. Exactly. And then what else? And then we need lemons. Uh huh. Limes. And then tahi. Mm -hmm. That's important, that's the tasty. Of course, beer. Yes. You can choose any beer you like. Yes. But we love And then I would like half of these. 
guys decide to make it, please let me know in the comments down below and tell me how it tasted. And I would love to know. So if you guys haven't seen that video that Lexi is talking about that we did together in Tago when we went skiing, go check that video out. I will leave the link listed down below so you guys can just click on the link and I'll take you to that video. Um, that one is more tequila, sweet mango. Um, you use tahini as well. That's the only ingredient you use out of here. But yeah, if you guys haven't already checked that video out. To me, I love that one as well. I switch between this one and that one. There's only two Mexican drinks I make actually. But if you make the one that has um, watermelon and jalapeno, oh, I did. Was that Mexican? Was that a Mexican drink? The jalapeno. It has tequila. I think I did. I think maybe that will be a next video. If you guys want to see that one, it was was it? It was watermelon, tequila, and jalapeno. So it was a little spicy and a little. If you guys would like to see that video, um, I made it once before for Jesus. Um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely make that one because that was also really tasty and refreshing. And that's what to hear that. watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this and if you guys did please could you give my video a big thumbs up <laughs> like my video and comment down below if you guys are going to be making any of these or if you'd like to see another video please let me know and if you guys haven't already please could you subscribe to this channel um, it's the red subscription button at the bottom it is free um, and click on that little notification bell next to it to get notified every time I post a new video. Alright guys, I'll see you soon in the next video. Adios! <laughs> <laughs>